Now, when you're looking for, let's say, athletes that you might want to represent in the future, why not? Are you looking for, is it more like that drive that you're talking about, that lifestyle, like they're, they're taking care of themselves, they're training, they're getting up, or is there like a mentality? Like what, what do you really look for when you're looking at these athletes? Um, it's, it's definitely a lot more than what people think. Um, me, myself, I look for a combination of things. Obviously, they have to have the skill. They have to have uh, physical components, physical attributes, um, technical. But the mental is is in, in one of the biggest things for me. Um, mental, not just on the field, what's the decision-making like on the field, but off the field, are you going to be a headache? And how big of a headache? Are you worth the headache? Mm-hmm. Like. Like, unless, unless you're bringing in, like, unless I see that you're ready to go and, and, you know, we're looking beyond to be worth that headache. It's, it's tough, man, because, yeah. and it's not, uh, I, I don't, I don't want it to sound as if it's arrogant. It's just. The, it's like I said earlier, the career is short. Some guys started 17, some guys started 21, 23. You know, if you're lucky and you're smart and you make good decisions, um, you can make mistakes along the way. You can have a good career to 35, 36, 37. Um, a good friend of mine plays for TFC. The kid, the guy is the longest serving player in TFC history. And he's going into, I think, his 10th or 11th season with the team. Mm-hmm. Almost 30 years old. And he's he's so far from, I think he still has more years to give. But he has, like, I remember, I would say, let's go out. And he's like, no, nah, man, I got practice tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to stay home. And, mm-hmm. you know, it's the ones who make it are the ones who can – have the head on their shoulders, you know, the good environment around them. Like, it's not just, it also just isn't you yourself. Like you got to have the friends around you to say, nah, man, it's okay. Stay home. Yeah. You know, like my last trainer in Miami was ruthless with me. I remember in my, I didn't, I didn't drink or smoke for 11 years, 11 years from my, my grade 10 year until the day I stopped playing didn't drink not a sip of anything i was sober the entire time and so my trainer never had that to pull on me but my biggest addiction was food and i used to eat like crap and my sleep was crap my trainer knew right away i'd walk in i I could go to practice and then the afternoons i'd be with my trainer he knew right away you didn't sleep well you didn't practice well you ate like crap I remember one time he put me on a diet, no sugar. Mm-hmm. You the you the day I broke it, <laughs> you right away. I, I walked in. He's like, "You ate sugar." I'm like, "How that? How 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 did you know that?" He's mm-hmm. like, "I can tell you sugar." And and it was just, you know, the people around me. Towards the end, at the end, I I just I was mentally starting to get checked out. I didn't have anything left in me. But if it wasn't for them my career would have ended long ago, mm-hmm. long, long ago. So, um, like I'm, I'm very fortunate to have even today, the people, my, the friends and my wife around me that keep me grounded. And, and, you know, they're, they're part of the reason why I still am the way I am today. And, mm-hmm. you know, they motivate me to say, you got to do better. My wife's going to be a, a firefighter. That's one of the most honorable jobs in the world. Like she's a firefighter and like, I need, I need, I need to keep pushing myself to be better in mm-hmm. business and, and to, you know, I do want to change people's lives. Like it's the reason why I still coach. I didn't have anyone to help me when I was 16, 17 years old. Like I was living in Toronto. Everything was still very new to people mm-hmm. and uh, I wasn't a superstar. So I had to figure out how to get my dream. So now I want to be able to tell parents and kids, look, you don't always have to go pro today. The kids are privileged. They can go to school. They can go to school and play. 
Like now you can, you can be educated and, and play. And like, like I realize more and more every day, just education, whether it's from a client perspective as like with your trainer, educate yourself, listen to what your trainer's saying. There's nothing wrong with getting what your trainer's saying and going and learning why he's saying it, mm-hmm. right? Today, you got Google. So your trainer says do five sets of five for whatever reason. Okay, well, why? why? Well, this is the reason why we're going to do it. We're going to build your strength. We're looking towards the strength component. Okay, cool. Well, I want to understand a little more. So I'm going to go home and Google it and have that talk with you. Mm-hmm. Be engaged with your trainer. Because if you're engaged with it, not only do you learn, but you get more out of your training. You get more out of whatever else, whatever you're doing in life. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And I think you touched on a, on a number of things and I, I really start to think like the same things that you're asking for in terms of an athlete, I think it, it would work well for anybody who's trying to chase a, a fitness goal. You know, you, you, you got to make it a priority in some sense, right? Yes. You can live your life. You can have that balance, but if this is what you want, then, then sometimes you have to eat in a certain way. Sometimes you have to exercise a certain way. Sometimes you have to prioritize sleep over going to, you know, staying up late or whatever. Right. So there, there is that mentality. There's that, that motivation that you can foster in yourself by having somebody keeping you accountable, directing you into what you need to be doing and just sort of engaging and doing it. And, and you, you recognize, like you said, you had people around you, keeping you accountable, keeping you going in, in the sport. That's very much what a good coach does. Keeps you going even when you feel like you can't.